E. Ray Taranik here, Master Weaver of Mystery Suspense Thrillers, as well as Broadcaster of Astrology. First, I'd like to thank you for being here with me today, lending me your ears, your eyes, and your time. I know it is valuable. Therefore, I will be sharing valuable information with you that will help you to navigate the week's upcoming challenges, take advantage of the opportunities and assistance aspecting you, and even be able to look forward to the blessings. Now, remember, this is a weekly update, so I implore you to watch your sun, moon, and rising sign video as it paints a clearer picture of what you'll actually be dealing with for the week. Now for the month of September, Mental Chatter Musings. Oh, <laughs> should you need your natal chart analyzed or a tarot reading, don't hesitate to message me on Facebook Messenger or you can email me at mentalchattermusings at gmail.com. Now, speaking of mental chatter musings, we are actually spotlighting the indie and traditional world by delving into the creative mastery of two prolific authors, one being Monica Walters, the other Stephanie M. Freeman. I implore you to dive into the audio, ebook, or paperback versions of their novels and check out the newsletter for specifics and sneak peeks for Blindsided by Love by Monica Walters and Season of the Blood by Stephanie M. Freeman. This month, Mental Chatter Musings Harvest includes not only books from these authors, but also a little something for your young entrepreneur. The shortest boss in the room will be gifted to a few lucky parents. And for those of you who have left an Amazon review for Deadliest Intuition, you have automatically been entered into the raffle to receive one of three cash gift cards that will be given away in the month of September. Now, don't forget to register for the virtual LCA21 conference. The link can be found in September's newsletter, or even if you click the down bar here on YouTube, the link for the newsletter is here, and you can dive in the LCA virtual conference link is in there. You guys have to register to be able to see the author's uh, interviews and things like that. So make sure that you do that. Please don't forget to vote also in the LCA 21 awards. The post can be found on my literary page, E. Ray Taronic on Facebook or within the newsletter. Deadliest Intuition has been nominated for Best Plot Twist, and I am extremely honored and humbled to be nominated. Thank you to all of those who of all of you who have uh, shown me support and believe in me and um, I love you guys thank you so much now please continue to check out Freestyle Friday with the Facebook group I see you reading and chatting authors will be giving you their impromptu freestyles according to a subject of the ladies choosing if you like a chance to participate in Freestyle Friday please contact Ebony Evans the president of I see you reading and chatting book club now Let's get into our astrology for the week. Okay, Taurus, Sun, Moon, or Rising Sign people. This is the week of the new moon, which illuminates opportunities and assistance. But Mars in our sector of work, health, daily routines, and where we are of service to others, it's trining Pluto. Uh, in our sector of career and mastery this week. So a blessing of rebirth is happening in some way, some transformation, and it has to do with who we are or what we do in the world, okay? Um, you know, as individuals, Taurus people, I mean. Um, if you have placements within three degrees of the degree that I mentioned, more or less, um, this will affect you more strongly. Now on Sunday, September 5th, the sun is in Virgo at 13 degrees. The moon in Leo opposes Jupiter in Aquarius and sex house Venus in Libra. Here's a chance to have good times with friends and social groups. Take a break today. Your ambition could be kind of lacking anyway. So, um, you know, you're allowed to do that. <laughs> if you are steadily working, though, you need to be careful during your mundane tasks, especially while you're, uh, you know, maybe even like walking down the stairs during your daily routines. Uh, repetition can cause you to, you know, sometimes be on autopilot. So under this sun, you need to pay attention because you don't want to injure yourself. Accidents can happen. Now on Monday, the 6th, the sun is in Virgo at 14 degrees. Helping is great. 
but do it for the sake of helping, not for the rewards, recognition, um, or kudos you stand to gain because you might not even get it this time around on Monday. While the sun is in Virgo, it's conjunct the moon and trines Uranus and Taurus. Mars also trines Pluto and Capricorn. This is a blessing that allows you to overcome a challenge that will transform while that, that will transform you while doing so. Okay, so your sector of romance, creative endeavors, and children is where the moon is. And it's going to be trining you, okay, bringing you direct blessings of transformation as far as your kids, as far as your romantic relationship, as far as your creative endeavors. Okay, that's something that's aspecting you. Shocking blessings of worth can be granted through work, uh, to your health, or even during your daily routines. For some of you, it could have to do with a small pet, but either way, it's a blessing nonetheless, especially for those who have placements in Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Um, now, between um, those would be between 11 and 17 degrees or between 21 and 27 degrees. And if you're cancer, if you have cancer or Scorpio placements, which would actually have to do with, um, for you relationships, like with siblings, neighbors, community, uh, you know, short distance travel, just your, uh, the relationship you have with your networks of people and things like that. Those relationships could bring you opportunities and assistance under, uh, on Monday. Okay. Now, the new moon is on Monday. You're going to have opportunities and assistance coming your way anyway, because the new moon is on Monday. It's in Virgo at 14 degrees. So it's in your sector of romance, creative endeavors, and children at 14 degrees. This is where it's starting. The energies will last for uh, over, you know, well up to through a two week period. Okay. So you'll be under this lunation. So you'll feel the effects of this for about a couple weeks. So let's talk about what you'll be feeling. Okay. Um, don't be surprised under this new moon if someone lends you a helping hand, uh, one that assists. Be mindful that you might not get the thanks that you're looking for if you're the one helping, okay? Don't underestimate the power of kindness, though. That is what this new moon is telling us. Romance could spark at work as well or even during some of your daily routines. Just make sure both parties are not spoken for, okay? <laughs> now, with this new moon, let's talk about the blessings you'll see first the blessings you'll see to romance creative endeavors and children will have to uh, do with long distance travel so you could be traveling um, it's going to have to do with your education and skills so your creative endeavors and educational skills could, could receive some sort of blessing or be some sort of blessing that transforms your soul your ego your image uh, in addition to that, you've got long distance, oh, uh, your, what you think and preach something about what you think and preach, whether it's in, it, within a creative endeavor, you know, something you've written in, something you've submitted, you had to use your education and skills or some type of entrepreneurship. It changes, it brings you blessings and it changes things for you and your world. Now, the assistance and opportunities that you can expect to be coming your way will come to you uh, through romance, creative endeavors and children or having to do with romance, creative endeavors and children as it pertains to the relationships you harbor in, in it, okay? So real romantic relationships, your relationships with your children, the people you have creative relationships with, my authors, other authors, uh, you know, uh, audiobook producers, you know, different people that you have relationships with. They will be lending you assistance and opportunities. They will be communicating to you about your creativity. They will be, uh, your networks of people can lend you assistance as to uh, maybe even babysitting, maybe a sibling babysits for you so you can go out on a date. Maybe somebody in your neighborhood asks you out on a date. Um, you have all of those things, aspecting. People want to form relationships with you, even creative relationships with you, okay? So, you know, be mindful of that and try to take on, take some of these opportunities, take advantage of them, uh, be it you're not compromising your morals or your um, worth, okay? Now, as far as the friction you can see during this new moon, you it looks all to be in your in, in your sectors of finances okay you may be overspending or not having the money that you want to have 
um, in uh, to do what you want to do within romance, uh, in creative endeavors or with your children. Uh, there's going to be some type of criticisms as far as how money is spent, um, whether you criticizing someone else or someone criticizing you. Um, your passions can get you into, you know, a bit of uh, uh, some snags, you know, overindulgence. You want to watch out for that. So it, it's really just all your money that you can, where you can see the friction. So if money comes into you, try not to go overboard, okay, with it and, and, and overindulge. Now on Tuesday, let's go back to the single transit, the 7th, the sun is in Virgo at 15 degrees. Where, where have you been working and waiting for your plants to bear fruit? This is what you want to ask yourself. Your hard work can be realized or celebrated on Tuesday. For some, patience does pay off on Tuesday. Just try not to be too self-indulging while enjoying your bounty. This is a beautiful day for things to pay off under the energies of the new moon. There are a plethora of trines on Tuesday, just like Monday. A lot of them carry over the sun, moon, and Mars, trining Uranus and Taurus and Pluto and Capricorn. The energy from Monday, like I said, is, is really carrying over. And remember, blessings many times do come with sort some sort of uh, restrictions or responsibilities, like there's a catch to it, okay? So be, be mindful of that this week. Now, um, let's see. We talked about, you know, the blessings that you can see, you know, all, already uh, aspecting you to romance, creative endeavors and children and things like that. So we'll jump on over to Wednesday. Just know that Tuesday is a, is a blessed day. So if you have those aspects between, um, I would say you know, those, uh, if it's carrying over from the day before, I don't know, maybe 12 to 17, 12 to 18 degrees of, uh, Virgo Capricorn or Taurus, you know, um, anyway, on Wednesday, the 8th, the sun is in Virgo at 16 degrees in the sector of work, health, daily routines, and where you are of service to others. Teamwork makes the dream work on Wednesday with the moon in Libra trining Saturn in Aquarius. Friends and partnerships bring blessings that strengthen foundations, okay? These for you, foundations for you are about career and they're about work, health, daily routines and where you're of service, where you are of service to others. Goals can be accomplished through partnerships and diligent work, okay? Any placements between 4 and 10 degrees of Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra will see blessings. Venus is in the mix at about 12 degrees, adding romance, pleasure, and finances into the mix and extending the blessing out to about 15 degrees. I'd say about 4 to 15 degrees of the air sign placements is really looking good. So for you, that would be your uh, that would be your money your personal money and resources, work, career, and things like that. Now on Thursday the night, the sun is in Virgo at 17 degrees. Not everyone is going to understand why it is you do what you do for others, and it's not their charge to do so. Uh, on this day, Thursday, you could find yourself being generous or, or compromising as to another's needs, or someone might be that way with you. For some, there's a helping hand that might be offered against all odds. Now on Friday, the 10th, the sun is in Virgo. Oh, and this help for you, if you're the one getting it, it will have to do with ro a romantic partner, uh, a creative endeavor, or your children, okay? <laughs> now on Friday, the 10th, the sun is in Virgo at 18 degrees. On Friday, your sector of work, health, daily routines, and where you are of service to others is an area of, it could be a little bit of tension, Either way, something is served up straight with no chaser, okay? Remember, honesty is the best policy. Let's hope what you have to say, if it is you uh, that's giving it straight with no chaser, you're saying something that boosts someone's confidence as opposed to destroying it, okay? Now, the moon in Scorpio, your sector of relationships, is going to square Saturn and Aquarius, your sector of career. I wouldn't worry too much. You do have Jupiter in your sector of career, so I think things will be okay. But, you know, you, there there is that 
you know, there is that square there, you know, so I do want to say you might, some of your relationships and career might, uh, you know, test you. Share finances, sex, intimacy, death, rebirth, your passions. Um, those can all face some realities, some harsh realities, even from friends, social groups, or even goals that can put you to the test in more ways than one. Now, um, I would say, let's see. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, where can you be of assistance to someone, though, if they need help, okay? Because for some, it could be the health of another. That's that's the focus. At the same time on the 10th, Venus is moving into your sector of relationships, okay? At zero degrees, bringing you romance, finances, pleasure. But you want to mind your temper because conflicts can arise on that day. You know, with that shift, it could bring some turbulence, okay? This transit awards blessings to you to your relationships through your siblings or even your si your relationship with your sibling, okay? Uh, your networks of people, your neighbors, your community, people that you're around. It gives you um, more of a bond with your friends, social groups, and, and goals within partnerships, okay? So you'll have that aspect in you for like the next 30 days starting on the 10th with Venus in Scorpio. Now, as far as the assistance and opportunities that relationships are gonna bring you, those would be romantic in, in nature. <laughs> um, maybe even forging new relationships with your children, your bond. Maybe even forging relationships with people in creative endeavors. This is aspecting you because people want to forge relationships with you. So with Scorpio coming to that sector of relationships, you're going to be drawing in more people. And some of, the, some of them you're drawing in at a distance from you that are bringing you opportunities and assistance. You're drawing them in because of what you think and what you preach. You're drawing them in because of your education and skills. OK, which is an area that's transforming because Pluto is there. So your relationships are transforming in turn. Now, as far as. Let's see your sector of romance, creative endeavors and children. Remember that you have Mars there and it's been highlighting challenges for you that you need to overcome, that you need to take care of. So be mindful that you're going to be facing some challenges you need to overcome in some of your relationships, your relationships with your siblings, your relationships with neighbors, friends and things like that. Over the next 30 days, those relationships are going to be, you know, they can be a focus for you, you know, even with work health daily routines and where you are of service to others coming in to be a focus soon but still that area can be a focus now as far as the friction you'll see um in relationships i would say they're going to be in career and they're going to be in home and family if you have any okay um like i said you have jupiter in career and you actually have venus over in virgo so no Hold on. Venus is in Libra. Okay, you have Venus in Libra. Um, your sector of work, health, daily routines, and where you are a service to others. Um, but yet and still, with that lunation or with that sun shining or Venus warming that sector of partnerships, I think things will be better even with the square there aspecting your sector of home and family. Now, on Saturday, the 11th, the sun is in Virgo at 19 degrees. Remember, you have the right to do things your way when you're walking your own path. Of course, there will be those who are envious of you or maybe even the way you handle things with fortitude and gusto. You know, you, you don't have to take up arms, though, just because someone else does. On the other hand, you might find yourself being the mediator in a conflict today. Well, not today, on Saturday. And that could have to do with a romantic partner, maybe even your children, or maybe it's between them. Maybe it's between two co-workers or someone you're in a creative endeavor with. On Saturday, there's also a direct line of assistance in our sector of work, health, daily routines, and where you are of service and where we are of service to others. But for you, it's romance, creative endeavors, and children, you know, as it pertains to that. So there's some type of assistance or opportunities popping up, maybe even for you to be of service to someone, you, a lover, to a child, with, to, to someone within a creative endeavor. Maybe it's serving someone in health, a, ro a romantic partner, a child, or someone within a creative endeavor. Either way, uh, maybe. 
maybe even someone's helping you, but it's stretching to shared finances. So shared finances are in the mix. They're either being garnered, they're being shared, or they're being, uh, you know, like utilized. It could be sex, intimacy, death, rebirth. So you get offers of sex from a romantic partner, things like that. Your passions are aspecting. It's all right around 19 degrees. Okay, so with those placements in Scorpio or Virgo between 16 and 22 degrees, this applies to you very, very strongly. Okay, because... Um, because there's that direct sextile. That's that's it's that direct line or link of uh, you know assistance to one another. So um, you're helping your relationships. Now justice can prevail on that day with the trine between Scorpio and Pallas and Neptune and Neptune and Pisces. Okay, so that is you got Scorpio there with Venus in your relationships. And your relationships are bringing you um, blessings because of your or, or assistance and opportunities because of your talents and your intuition. OK, because of what you've inspired. This is something you've inspired them to do because of who you are and your creativity. So look forward to that on Saturday. OK, you can be a mediator and then you can also get praise. God bless you and um, stay tuned for your tarot portion. Hello Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign people. Welcome to the tarot portion of your reading for this week. Now your entire reading is permeated by the lover's card. And that kind of makes sense being that Scorpio, uh, Venus is moving into your relationship sector, the sign of Scorpio this uh, week. Uh, with the lover's card permeating, this talks about some type of relationship. Um, and it likely could be like, you know, literally the lovers. Let's talk about what's aspected this week. Now you have the Ten of Pentacles aspecting this week. And that talks about, uh, of course, inheritance, wealth, establishment, even retirement. It could be a happy marriage, financial benefits coming in through inheritance or, or relatives or some type of partnership you know, is aspecting with that because you also have the two of cups aspecting and the two of cups is about some type of relationship or partnership. Um, it favors uh, creative teams. It favors a, a reconciliation, um, maybe even just a happy relationship. Okay. Before this must have been something you were thinking about walking away from because you had the eight of cups uh, upside down. And the Eight of Cups upside down is about a relationship uh, being abandoned due to anxiety or even wanderlust, um, unwillingness to work through problems um, and things like that. Positive opportunities are ignored and the desire for flight, you know, and it could be regretted later on. But it looks like now uh, you're not walking away or somebody else is not walking away and there is some type of uh, money coming in due to that or some type of happiness and most likely it's money because it's a pinnacles card now in addition to that you have the judgment card so the judgment card talks about some type of judgment exactly that some type of second chance coming in and along with that second chance coming in you have the ace of pentacles which talks about material success some type of prosperity or manifestation unexpected gifts could come in um, this is not earned income this is some type of prizes investments or money you weren't expecting um, it's an auspicious time for new businesses or relationships. It's just a comfortable and prosperous time. And your world is changing. This is something that you've been uh, searching for, you know, because you have the hermit card uh, aspecting this. So this is something that you've been, you know, I don't want to necessarily say waiting for because you don't have the hangman card. But, you know, maybe even soul searching. Maybe you've been doing some type of soul searching you know, and this changes your world. And now you, because of that, you have a second chance now for uh, solitary work manifesting this new opportunity for you. Okay. So 
that second chance is is definitely that you're getting this week as a boom for you. Now, uh, your other situation aspecting garners the Page of Cups. And the Page of Cups talks about some type of offer coming in. It's a beginning offer. It could be about cre uh, a creative influence or good news about a relationship, a social relationship. If this is about romantic love, remember that you need to keep a grounded approach and um, drop the dreaminess. You know, not all of it, but it, it talks about an, an unfocused energy, okay? And this could have to do with somebody that you feel is a good businesswoman. Um, it could be a fire sign person, a Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries rising sign person, sun, moon, or rising. Um, or this could be you. You could have that sun, moon, or uh, have that rising or moon, a fire sign. But either way, um, this talks about, like I said, a good business woman. Uh, she's warm. She's compassionate. Uh, if you are, uh, you know, f uh, falling for someone in a relationship or if there is some type of offer coming towards you for a relationship, good communication about this person um, is advising you to go ahead and take the risk, you know, and go for what you truly want. But you just need to make sure that with this person, you are taking a grounded approach and not um, being too fanciful as it pertains to a relationship or the options within it. Okay. All right. God bless you. And I'll see you guys next week.